different molecules vary in the types of electromagnetic radiation that they reflect and the types that they absorb. This is because each molecule has a specific shape as the atom's electrons try to maximize the distance between each other. These atoms can vibrate in their positions if packets of electromagnetic energy can be absorbed. Each chemical bond is prepared to absorb energy of only certain wavelengths. For example, a blue shirt looks blue because it absorbs the energy from red wavelengths of light, it absorbs the energy from green wavelengths of light, and it reflects blue light so that when you look at it with your eye, the only type of visible light coming from the shirt is blue, giving it its blue color. The dyes of a green shirt are different, and thus they absorb different types of electromagnetic energy. The molecules of a green shirt would absorb red wavelengths of light and would absorb blue wavelengths of light, but they would reflect green wavelengths of light, so that when you would look at this shirt, it would be these green wavelengths of light that would be reaching your eye, and thus the shirt would appear green in color. There are other forms of electromagnetic radiation outside the visible spectrum. For example, there is ultraviolet radiation. Some molecules absorb this, including the DNA of our cells. Thus, we try to protect ourselves from ultraviolet light, because when DNA absorbs this ultraviolet light, it can cause mutations and increase the risk of skin cancer. Infrared radiation is also a form of electromagnetic radiation. We often refer to this simply as heat. Heat can be absorbed by molecules uh, with specific shapes and chemical bonds, and so thus there are molecules which do not absorb heat, and there are molecules which do absorb heat. Carbon dioxide is one of the molecules which absorbs heat. It can be measured that infrared radiation with wavelengths of 4 microns and 15 microns are absorbed by molecules of carbon dioxide. Thus, carbon dioxide molecules absorb heat. This has consequences for planet Earth. The more carbon dioxide in its atmosphere, the more of the sun's uh, heat which will be absorbed and retained around the planet rather than being reflected back into space.